I'm Brittany Umar and welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where you're always welcome to watch some unfamiliar Knicks do some very familiar losing. Is Donnie Walsh actually Santa Claus? Because I'm pretty sure the Knicks president pulled off a miracle on 34th Street yesterday, dumping off even more of Isaiah Thomas's dead weight, but not him or him, and getting back solid players like Larry Hughes and, uh, I have it here somewhere. All right, let's just go to Donnie. We're very happy with the two players who will be coming here and Larry Hughes. Um, and uh, who's the other guy who played with Walsh added, who cares? I got rid of Jerome James. Do you have any idea how hard that was? And I got back someone who can actually physically play basketball. And apparently some other guy too. As mentioned, there were no trade deadline takers for Stefan Marbury, as opposing GMs were reportedly freaked out by Starbury's huge paycheck and startling head tattoo. Walsh managed to hang on to fan favorites Nate Robinson and David Lee, ensuring that Nick loyalists will at least be able to enjoy slam dunk trophies and hustle awards while they wait on that 2010 championship. Meanwhile, in a story that's already lasted longer than Isaiah's influence on the Knicks roster, it turns out A-Rod spent the entire 2007 season traveling with Angel Presenol, a trainer who's been banned from MLB clubhouses since being caught at the Canadian border in 2001 with a big bag full of steroids. And we go after A-Rod as much as anyone, but we think this is over the line. Just because he paid to have a suspected steroid trafficker at his side all year long, does that mean he was juicing? And Presnell hasn't been convicted of anything? Whatever happened to Innocent until caught at the Canadian border with a big bag of steroids? A-Rod would not comment on his relationship with Presnell, but admitted that it does sound like something he would have injected when he was young and stupid. Over in Mets camp, Carlos Delgado spoke to the media yesterday in Port St. Lucie, and of course the topic of performance enhancing drugs was brought up. I don't worry about it, he said, because I know in my mind that I've never done anything illegal or out of line. Of course, medical experts do credit Delgado's second half power surge last season to the natural over-the-counter substance known as, damn, I need them to pick up my option, also known by the street name, contract year. That's all the time we've got for today. Oh, did I mention Duke beat St. John's, the Islanders lost, and the Nets once again couldn't trade Vince Carter? Yeah, the world keeps turning. Play the music.